Hell is described as a place of punishment and separation from God for those who have rejected Him, lived in rebellion against His commands, and did not accept the sacrifice of His Son Jesus Christ. Here are five facts about hell according to the scriptures. 1. Everlasting punishment. The Bible describes hell as a place of unending torment. It is portrayed as a realm of eternal pain for those who have rejected God. In Matthew 25, 46, Jesus speaks of the wicked going away into eternal punishment. 2. Outer darkness. Hell is depicted as a place of darkness and spiritual desolation. In Matthew 8, 12, Jesus describes hell as the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This indicates a place of complete spiritual darkness and separation from any source of light or life. 3. Separation from God. Hell represents a complete separation from the presence of God. In 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 9, it states that those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel will suffer eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His might. This separation from God is considered a significant aspect of the punishment in hell. 4. The Lake of Fire, Revelation 20.10 states, The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. This image conveys the idea of intense and unquenchable suffering, and the devil being cast into the lake of fire after the 1,000-year reign. 5. Final Judgment Hell is closely tied to the final judgment. Revelation 20 verse 12 to 13 mentions a great white throne and a judgment where the dead stand before God and are judged according to their works. Death and Hades will deliver the dead who were in them. Then death and Hades will be cast into the lake of fire, along with anyone not found written in the book of life. This is known as the second death. It's important to remind everyone that salvation through Jesus is the only way to avoid eternal pain and suffering. May we all come to the Lord Jesus through faith and love, and not through fear. And may we all become God-fearing people, so that we may be given wisdom to live a life according to God's teachings.